What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Chad Caldwell. First things first, subscribe to the page if you haven't. Uh, today, I'm going to be going over, man, like uh, all of the shoes that I got this year, which is about, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, about nine pairs of shoes that I got this year. Way too many. Um, I'm not going to lie. Not all of them are going to be staying in uh, my collection. I'm just now getting started uh, as far as with buying shoes a lot. And I don't, sometimes you get into this, you see something and it's the hype and it ain't really what you want. After after you realize, you know, you just kind of just wasted some money. But today I'm just gonna be going through the ones that I bought this year and uh, let's get to it. Now I'll be honest again, cause I ain't never gonna front with y'all. I kind of got these off hype but I'm keeping them. And that's the KD 14s. I like them. I tried them on and they're dope. So let me kind of close up on those. I think they're pretty dope. I, I say this, think about if these came out in the nineties. Take off the little designs. Or even if you did have the designs, it don't matter. Put these in the 90s. A lot of these basketball shoes will be winning. Now people are more, style has kind of changed. But if you look at it, these would have been nice in the 90s. Maybe not that light color. I don't know what that color is, but that little, that little color right there. But think about that. These would have been nice. Um in the 90s in my opinion. I like them. And I'm keeping them because I, I, I'm I a fan of KD, who's not. And at the same time, I need something to play basketball. I have to play basketball and I haven't did it in a while, but now I got a shoe. So I'm actually worried, but I like them. even though Nike sent my box a little crazy, but okay. Now this shoe, I did not get this year, but I thought I'd show it anyway. I got it last year, uh, a little bit over a year ago. And I still haven't worn it because we ain't went nowhere. Everybody's been inside and now things are kind of opening up. So it's a little different, but I got these last year. It's the uh, linens, the 350 uh, linens. I love these, super comfortable, love them. And a lot of people didn't go crazy over these, but I needed a at least one pair of Yeezys in my collection. I'm starting a collection and I, I wanted at least one pair of Yeezys. These are just, they're clean to me. So I ain't gonna spend too much time on these. They're just dope, nice little colorway. He never, Yeezy never missed. I don't know if he actually picks out the colorways, but he's pretty nice on the, you know, on the different colors. He's good at putting those together. Now this next shoe, I'm not gonna lie, it is a Yeezy. And I I got it because they re that it was in it was a restock. But it was off I thought it was a little hype to it. Some 380s. Um the 380 Covell, Covell, Covell. These ain't the greatest looking shoe, but I tell you what Yeezy does every time to me. They look crazy sometimes when I see them on the website, but then when I get them in hand, they just, I don't know, they, I'm like, wow. And then I put them on my feet. They're the most, Yeezy has some of the most comfortable shoes I've ever had in my life. Adidas period anyway, but these are clean to me. Let me get a little more close. The color's crazy. I wouldn't wear this in the summer. It's more like a winter, a winter shoe. And with how this is, the top, some like joggers or something like that. That's that's pretty much what these shoes look best in, like some black joggers or whatever you can kind of match it up with. But joggers, I would say. But they're comfortable. Kind of twirl that around, let y'all see that a little bit. 
These are dope to me. A lot better in hand. They're not the greatest looking shoe, but they're not ugly. They're not like, I, okay, look, I could understand if somebody said it was ugly, but once I got them in hand and then I put them on my foot, different story. They cling to me. So I like these. I put them on foot and I like these and I got some coming. I won't say I'll do another video on those, but I got some more coming. Not this colorway, but another colorway. And before I show this next shoe, I'd like to say, reiterate, if I didn't say already, buy the shoes that you like too, man. Buy the shoe, don't get caught up in the hype. Buy some shoes that you like. And with that being said, I'm gonna show some shoes that ain't a hype shoe. It's some Jordan 1s, regular Jordan 1s, all white with the red and black. I like Jordan 1s, uh, lows. Of course, everybody loves the high top. Pretty much nobody liked the mids, so. But they're clean to me. Oh, they got that new sh that new smell that new shoe smell. Oh my god, I can't wait to wear these. I love Jordan ones and I love Dunks. These are fire to me. I don't care. I did see some yesterday and i was but i got kind of hyped up because of what it looked like there were some jordan ones i saw yesterday and they were black and it was like a turquoise color on them but these are dope and the leather you can look at the look how good that leather is on that nike check they fresh to me fresh just some little Casual Jordan 1 lows. Ain't nothing wrong with these. These fire. No, they're not hyped up. A lot of people ain't hyped up to get them, but I don't care. I'm going to wear them. I don't care. And don't ever care what nobody thinks. This next shoe is a shoe I've wanted for years. Ever since it first came out. I don't even remember when it first came out. But Cool Grays, threes. Fire to me. I love Cool Grays. And I don't think I'm, I was going to give these up. I don't think I am. I've been wanting these, wanting these for a minute. And I got these on a restock. I think it was either Finish Line or Foot Locker. But I got these this year too. A little more close up. Who? I, I don't even see how anybody could not like threes. Threes are nice. And like I say all the time, they're comfortable. Ain't nothing like some comfortable shoes and style to go with it. But I haven't worn these yet either. And there's nothing special on the inside. Just a Jumpman logo. And that's about it. They're pretty dope to me. Next pair of shoes. I can't lie. These might be, I might be getting rid of these. And like I said, I done bought some stuff just based off hype, just because I haven't had it. But they're kind of comfortable and I love comfort. So that might be, excuse me, the deal breaker. But the Kernite um, Yeezys 700s, did I say that right? Kernite? No, Kyanit, however you say it, Kyanit. But I haven't worn these, haven't worn these yet. I haven't really had nowhere to just style them. I've only been working and I've come home. So I ain't really had nowhere to just, just wear them. So I don't know if I'm selling these or not. I might, cause these, these fit. I don't ever have to worry about Yeezys. I like the way the bottom look. I like it. It's a weird look. I remember I showed my mom and she didn't like it. And my aunt, they said they look ugly. Even my nephew. My nephew's like 17. Would have thought he would have thought they was looking cool, but he didn't like them. So it goes to show you, it doesn't matter about the name. If you like it, you like it. And that's just what it is. But inside, ain't really nothing in the inside. So a little more closer look. Twirl that around a little bit. I like that Adidas on the back. I think my aunt said they look like alien shoes. I ain't even got to pull out the other one. I mean, obviously it's the same thing, so. 
good pair of shoes. They're comfortable. I'm big on not style, uh, not just style, but it's got to be comfortable too. And they're a little too close to the camera. They're the low, the forums, the low top, the forums. I don't know if a lot of people like these, but I love them. I just can't fit them. They're a little bit too big for me. Um, let me see, show you a little bit. Inside, inside ain't nothing special. Never wore these. I like them because they're, they're like the 80s type of, type of throwback look. I think these did come out in the 80s. Um, but these are, to me, they fire. I like them. You know, it's got some good, good leather right there. And then you got the, I don't even know what you'd call that part. Like a carpet type of feel. They're, they, they're nice to me. And I like the bottom. I like that, that red dot right there. That's dope to me. These are fire to me. Um, and yes, like I said, I did not, I have not worn these. And that's because I cannot, I can, I can fit them, but they're like a little bit too big. They're a little bit too big and I don't want to, these are a pair of shoes that I would wear like every day. Like they're, they're an everyday type of shoe. Like you get up, want to go to the store. They some shoes that you slip on or you can style in them. You know, these, these, like the, the style of this shoe is like really coming back. Like the, the throwback eighties type shoe, you know, everybody's getting into that nowadays. And that's, I like it. I really like that look. But these, they're nice to me. Look at the tongue. It's just, it's nice. Let me do a little closer look so people can really, I really don't like when cars do that. It's super loud. Anywho, but these are like really, really nice to me. So those, that is those is my um I can't even think of the name the Avi Parks and obviously I got these this year and you can tell yes I wear my shoes these are these are the, the Adidas Boost uh Ivy Parks which is um what's her darn name uh Beyonce and I wear these every day. I shouldn't even be wearing them how I do, but with the job I wear, I like to be comfortable. Uh, the job I wear. Anywho, the job that I, I'm at, um, I like to be comfortable. And these are comfortable. And I actually took out the soles uh, from, from the shoes. These are super comfortable. I advise anybody to buy. You don't even have to buy these pair, but I like these. I like these. And I probably got them off hype as far as being I Ivy Park. I could have just got some regular, you know, regular Adidas. But I'll show you the insole. Hold on. I took these out because it makes my foot a little more comfortable. But just to kind of let y'all see that, if you can. Yeah. So that is my, my um, shoes that I got this year. I actually have one more pair, but I'm going to save that for another video because I feel like they're the most slept on shoe this year. And some people may don't may not think they're slept on, and I did hit on these on Sneakers app, but I think they slept on. And it's a pair of Dunks, it's just to give you a hint. You know what I mean? So that's that. That's my, my uh, top shoes. I wouldn't even say top. Those are all the shoes that I got this year um except for the 350s that's it though anyway i'm glad all y'all whoever watches the video i appreciate it share the video like the video comment below and subscribe if you're not subscribed it's your boy chad caldwell out